This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Saudi Arabia shifts its focus from Lebanon to Iran. Mousavi finds support from Saudi-run media outlets. Will the monarchy influence these elections too? Answers to these questions and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. It's a contradiction to mention Saudi Arabia, an absolute monarchy, and elections in the same sentence. However, no country in the Middle East as of late has been more invested in this democratic process than Saudi Arabia. For the record, election is part of the democratic process. Saudi Arabia is not. According to some experts which have been circulating in the Arab media, the Saudis poured more money into the Lebanese parliamentary race that propelled the coalition of Saad al-Hariri into victory than what was spent on Barack Obama's U.S. presidential bid. Lebanon, however, is a country of only 4 million. The March 14th alliance is honorable. This alliance has nominated a group of young men and women for the parliamentary elections. These young people have a great deal of energy and a sense of nationalism. While one cannot quantify the exact amount of money the Saudi spent or substantiate these reports, the Saudi influence is evident through the many media outlets the kingdom owns or backs. Saudi Arabia controls an impressive share of the Arab world's most influential media outlets, ranging from top distribution newspapers such as the London-based Al-Sharq Al-Awsat to the second most viewed television satellite station in the region, Al-Arabiya, which was founded by the brother-in-law of the late King Fad. So the control of many Arab media outlets, directly and indirectly, has prompted a journalist friend of mine based in Egypt to refer to the Saudi monarch as his editor-in-chief. During the Lebanese parliamentary elections, the Saudi-controlled media focused its efforts on painting the Lebanese opposition, led by Hezbollah, as an Iranian proxy. The kingdom dispatched a group of experts from one station to the other to warn about the spread of Iran's influence in the Arab world. The same sentiment was also disseminated through editorials in the various newspapers Saudi Arabia owned or had an interest in. This past week, while still savoring the election victory in Lebanon of the March 14th alliance, the Saudi-controlled media has been concentrating its efforts on the Iranian presidential election. Al Arabiya, for example, has been constantly airing segments from the television debates by the presidential candidates and sound bites critical of incumbent Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Saudi so run media has been favoring Mir Hussein Musavi, the reformist candidate, and has given him the edge in Tehran but neglected other provinces where it's totally a different story. In many instances, anchors on Saudi controlled Arab media outlets could hardly restrain their glee whenever Ahmadinejad was criticized by his challengers. I came here to vote for the better candidate and the one capable of change. Today we are changing the future of Iran. The next president must be able to serve the people. In case you're wondering who the Saudis have been targeting through Arab satellite stations in Iran, where Farsi is the official language, approximately 6% of Iran's population are Arabic speakers, the majority of whom live in Kazakhstan. Saudi Arabia is hoping that they, along with other minority groups, will make the difference to deliver them another victory, this time against Ahmadinejad in Iran. I'm Jamal Dejani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org slash mir. You can also follow me on Twitter. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.